Hi, and welcome to the second day of the yoga challenge. Today we have a beautiful practice for those who do not have much time in the morning. It will not take you more than 20-25 minutes. And I call this practice Himalayan I'm calling because this is a practice which I got from my guru, from my teacher in India. And this is not a whole complex, um, just a little bit of it, but still we're going to cover all body. The complex is called Sukshma Viyama, which is translated as a subtle movement. We're going to move along with our breath, but quite different from what we used to in the so popular vinyasa classes. There is a, quite a bit of the holding of the breath or the vigorous breathing. If you, are, doesn't, if you don't feel very good about it, if you have a high or low blood pressure, if you have any heart issues, I would take it easy and um, despite what I would be suggesting you when you're holding your breath, I would suggest you to just uh, continue breathing. So another beautiful thing about this practice, you don't need to have anything, any props, maybe just a yoga mat and uh, we're going to do the Sukshma Vyama, basically the joint exercises and finish up with a few rounds of sun salutations. If you want to skip the sun salutes, you're welcome to skip the yoga mat as well and just maybe go in your backyard, maybe go in the park if you have, uh, it's accessible for you in the morning, stay on the grass and enjoy yourself this morning. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started in the standing position. Stand upright with your feet together, release your arms to the sides. Going to start with the neck, so please interlace your fingers behind your spine, move your shoulder blades back and down, try to not over arch your low back, inhale lift your chin up to the sky, exhale chin down to the chest, continue moving along with your breath, if you have any issues with your neck, if you have hernia, please don't let your head fall too far back. Just move in a much smaller range of movement here. Keep moving with your breath. Inhale up, exhale down. And come back into the center. Now just start to move one ear towards the shoulder, then another ear towards the shoulder. Right ear to the right shoulder, left ear to the left shoulder. Make sure that you're not lifting your shoulders. Shoulders stay neutral in one line. Back in the center, a little twist. Looking behind one shoulder, looking behind another shoulder. As you're moving, make sure your chin moving in the parallel with the floor. So you're not lifting your chin too high. Back in the center, release your arms to the sides, chin down to the chest, and start circling your head. Again, if you have hernia, you can substitute it with a very little tiny circle. So you're almost not moving your head too far back or forward, but just imagining that you're drawing the circle up in the ceiling. Keep your eyes open if you feel a little dizzy. Reverse, opposite rotation. So you're just using the weight of your head to move through these circles. And eventually, chin goes down to the chest. Come back to the neutral position. Let's bring some rotation in our shoulders. Start rotate your shoulders forward, drawing the circles. Try to make this movement really smooth, forward, and backwards, a few times. And release your arms, and listen carefully, we're going to squeeze the thumbs inside of the fist, and as you're inhaling through the mouth, like you're drinking the air through the straw, inhale, feel it up, so you're stretching your cheeks, Hold your breath, chin down to the chest, and start moving your shoulders up and down vigorously without bending your elbows, up and down, holding your breath. It looks funny, but as you're holding the air in your cheeks, lift it up, release. One more time, inhale, drink this air, chin down to the chest, stretching the cheeks, and moving up and down. At the beginning, elbows might be out of control so you're kind of bending your elbows a little bit don't worry about this but just try to keep your arms straight 
lift it up and release. Make a few rounds again with your shoulders. Forward and backwards. Good. And now squeeze the thumb again. Make the 90 degree angle with your shoulders. Inhale, elbows to the sides. And then exhale, extend it strongly. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. So you're exhaling very strongly, extending your arms in front of you. Breathe only through the nostrils. Inhale, release your arms. We'll do one more round. Again, you're going to squeeze your thumbs inside of your fist. Form 90 degree angle with your elbows. And again, starting inhaling elbows to the sides. Exhale strongly. Push it forward. Push, push. Exhale. Keep your eyes open. Face relaxed. As we go in for the vigorous breath, sometimes we tend to mm, tense the facial muscles. Exhale, release your arms along the sides. Palms facing in. Inhale, reach your right arm up, your palm facing out. Exhale down. Keep going. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale down. Big inhale up. Maybe hold your breath on the top for a second. Exhale down. Feel this right lung expand. Inhale. Exhale down. Inhale. And exhale down. Switch. Left arm reach. Now feel your left lung. Exhale down. Inhale, reach, hold for a second. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Up. Down. Reach the both arms up. Inhale, hold it. Hold your breath on the top. Exhale, release. Inhale again, reach up, expansion. Exhale. Keep going with your own breath. Don't forget to hold your breath for a second too. Every time when you're lifting your arms up. Next time as you're reaching your arms up, big inhale, squeeze your thumb inside, hold your breath and start rotating your arms forward. Again, stay strong off your, on your legs and keep those arms straight. Don't bend your elbows. Exhale, push it forward. Inhale, hold your breath and rotate it backwards. You can place your feet wider if you feel that you're having an issue with balancing. And exhale, push it forward. Now keep your fingers together. Extend your arms in front of you. Start bending at your wrists with your palms facing forward and then palms facing towards you, up and down. Your shoulders relaxed, however, your arms are straight and strong. So if I would be coming over you and push on your arms, it would not change its position. Now bend your elbows to the sides, move same way but in front of your chest, up and down. Try to keep your fingers together, don't bend your fingers. Extend it forward. Now spread your fingers like you're stretching something in between them. Keep going up and down. Imagine like you're breathing through the palms. Bend your elbows to the sides. As you're moving here, you're not trying to squeeze your shoulder blades, but you're almost trying to broaden for the chest, like moving the shoulder blades away from each other. Extend forward. Imagine you're grabbing something with your fingers banded. Pull it towards your chest. Inhale, hold your breath. And with your fingertips, tap all over the chest. Lower ribs, upper ribs. Exhale, push it in. Extend. Again, close. Inhale, pull it towards your chest. Now maybe with your fists, very gently, tap, tap, tap all over the chest. Waking up. And exhale, push it in. One more time, extend. Make this close. Inhale, pull it closer. And now with your open palms. Tap all over the chest, low ribs, side ribs. Exhale, release. Release your arms. Your feet 
plant it in the floor a little bit wider, shoulder width apart. Release your belly, place your palms on your low back. We're going to breathe come couple of hearty breath. Lean forward 45 degrees. Inhale, release your belly. Exhale, push your navel in. Inhale, release. Exhale, push it in. And let's concentrate on the exhalation and start to pump your belly in and out. So inhale happening when you're just releasing your belly and exhale, you're controlling, you push it in. Try to breathe only through the nostrils. And again, don't tense your face. Make sure the face relax. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bend your knees slightly to release your low back. Relax your belly. We'll do one more time. If you have any spine issues or your hamstring feel really stiff, do the same what we did before. Otherwise, go forward in the parallel with the floor. Release your belly and exhale, push. And keep pumping. Kapalabhati. The shining skull breath. Beautiful practice in the morning. Help you to stay concentrated. Helps you to wake up. Inhale, rise up, and exhale, release. We're going to do Uddiyana Bandha, energy lock. Big inhale on the top. Exhale, bend your knees, palms on your thighs. Full exhalation, hold your breath on the top of exhale. And then suck your belly. Your navel goes in and up. Hold it there. You should feel this suction all over your collarbones as well. You release your belly, inhale, rise up. Exhale, release. Inhale here. Exhale through the nostrils, through the mouth, full down. Hold your breath after the exhale and only pull your navel in and up. Almost like you want to inhale, but you're not doing it. Release. Inhale, rise up. One more time. Inhale here. Exhale, fully palms on your thighs. And hold your breath. Suck your belly in and up. Hold and release. Rise up, release everything. Place your feet together again. Now grab your left wrist behind you and place your left thumb inside of your fist. Hold it around your sacrum. Inhale, look up, slightly arch, and exhale, fold forward towards your legs. Keep going with your own breath, keep your eyes open. Inhale, arch. Exhale, fold. Every time as you fold forward, as you're going down there, you can soften your knees, but once you're there, see if you can extend your legs straight. Keep moving with your own breath. If that creates discomfort or dizziness, slow down. Maybe stop every time when you're coming in the upright position. Next time you're folding forward, change, grab another wrist and keep going another few times. Remember, you're breathing only through the nostrils, sinking the breath and the movement. Inhale up and release your arms. And place your feet a little bit wider and extend your arms to the sides, your palms facing down, relax your shoulders. Press for the both feet equally as you exhale, lean to the right side. And stretch in the left side of the body. See if your neck allow you to look slightly to the left. Keep pushing through the both feet, don't over arch your back. Inhale back in the center, exhale opposite side, 
Keep those arms in one line like an airplane arms. Inhale back in the center and exhale release. Place your feet even wider, your toes pointing forward, the outer edges of your feet in the parallel with each other. Palms on your sacrum, inhale arch, exhale fold. Same movement just as we did before, inhale arching, pushing the pelvis forward, exhale folding, pointing the crown down. Continue moving along with your breath, your legs stay strong, your feet strongly pushing, stretching the yoga mat. Inhale back in the center and exhale, bring your feet closer towards each other. Now your feet hip width apart, palms on the low back, keep your legs straight, start rotation of the pelvis. Encircling the pelvis, again you choosing the range of movement and reverse. Bring the space again, feeling this widen, open, broaden. And back in the center, Kundalini Kriya. Now feet closer to each other, palms to the sides. We're going to send this heel up towards the sacrum, like you almost kicking yourself, your heel to the glute or towards the sacrum. And as we're moving, we're going to move pretty quick without returning the foot down to the floor. So keep moving. See if each time you're touching your butt, you exhaling very strongly. Just like you did Kapalabhati, but belly does not involved here. Up and down, up and down. Place it back down to the floor, press for the left foot, and now your right heel goes up, up and down without touching the floor. Try to maintain your balance in, balance in the center. And exhale, feet down. Bring your feet to touch, palms down to your knees, bend your knees and start circling. A few times, one direction. Keep your torso really low, almost your belly on your thighs. And opposite direction. Now feet wider. Circle inwards, be gentle here on your knees and outwards. If you had any knee injuries, I would skip those movements. Back up. And one more thing here left to do is our feet. So plant your right foot into the floor, reach your left leg. And start circling your ankle, noticing sensations in the arch of the foot and the toes, even between the toes. Reverse, opposite. And then press your toes down and opposite switch and down. Extend your right leg, circle, a few times one direction. times so opposite direction. If you're doing for yourself you can start with five and five, maybe ten and ten. Toes flex and then flip and press. Good. Walk on the top of your yoga mat. Let's move for a few rounds of sun salutations to meet this day. If that's the morning for you of course. Find your breath, bring your palms to your heart. Moving one breath, one movement. Inhale, reach your arms up and over slightly arch. Exhale, fold to your legs. Step your right foot back, knee down, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Drop your knees down, chest, chin down, elbows back. Inhale, arch into the cobra. 
exhale down dog step your left foot forward inhale exhale feet together on the top of the mat inhale rise up exhale palms to the heart inhale reach your arms exhale fold left foot back knee down inhale exhale press your palms down dog drop your knees down chest chin between your palms inhale cobra chest up exhale back down dog step your right foot forward back knee down inhale exhale feet together inhale rise exhale palms to the heart inhale reach your arms exhale fold right foot back knee down lunge inhale exhale down dog knees down chest chin down keep the arch in your low back inhale cobra exhale back left foot forward inhale exhale feet together fold inhale rise exhale palms to the heart inhale reach up exhale fold left foot back knee down inhale exhale down dog knees down chest chin down inhale cobra exhale down dog right foot forward inhale lunge exhale feet together fold inhale rise exhale palms final round inhale reach your arms exhale fold right foot back inhale lunge exhale downward facing dog Drop your knees down, chest, chin down, inhale, cobra, exhale, down dog. Left foot forward, inhale, exhale, feet together. Inhale, rise, exhale, palms to the heart. Inhale, arms up, exhale, fold. Left foot back, inhale, exhale, down dog. Drop your knees down, chest chin down, keep your elbows close. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, back. Right foot forward, inhale. Exhale, feet together. Inhale, rise. And exhale, palms to the heart. Slow down your breath by using Ujjayi technique. If you're familiar with this, pranayama. We'll just stay here for the few deep breaths. As an option, you can take a Shavasana here. We can move on to your meditation perhaps. Or maybe walk straight from here into your day. Thank you for practicing with me. I wish you a wonderful day. And I see you the next week, the third day of our challenge.